Hey YouTube, Taurus High Point fans, all uh, 113 of you I think I've got subscribed. I ain't worried about it. I'm not a commercial YouTuber. I don't make commercials or infomercials or push product. I merely bring you the truth, which is what I'm going to do here today. A shout out to Black Powder Maniac Shooter. Check his channel out. That's Mark Humphreys. Pretty good guy. We've been able to get to know each other through uh, mainly uh, Facebook and uh, email. We're talking back and forth. But uh, he's mainly a black powder shooter. Today I'm, I'm going to cover propellants, and that is Pyrodex and 777. These propellants are essentially the same in appearance and oxidizers. However, Pyrodex uses sulfur, sodium, benzoate, and DCDA. DCD is a big word I can't pronounce. Y'all have to look that up and make your own decision. Whereas 777, it lacks the sulfur benzate, but contains 3 nitrobenzoic acid. Pardon. Nitric acids are extremely corrosive to metal. So ergo is triple seven really cleaner. You decide. Nitric acid strongly attacks most metals and is extremely oxidizing to most metals. Steel, pure steel can be dissolved with nitric acid in water. And you want that in your barrel. Why? You, you make that decision, it's just not on me. I use the Pyrodex. Uh, I do have uh, 777 pellets but I for my rifles, but I'm at, at what I've discovered here is kind of weaned me back to the uh, RS and Pyrodex. Um, nitrobenzoic acid and nitric benzoic acid are derivatives of benzoic acid. The two are of commercial importance. They serve a commercial applications that span more than just uh, black powder substitutes. They are ten times more acidic than the parent benzoic acid. Ten times more acidic, each one. And three benzo three nitrobenzoic acid is in triple seven. Now it's been said that the fouling is softer, eh? Softer or acidic? Now most most people are gonna get gonna jump on me saying I'm you know pro pyrodex or pro black powder. Or, I don't care what you use. Okay, because in the end we're all we're all going through the same processes to clean this stuff up. Black powder, pyrodex, triple seven. It all requires soap, water. I also throw in a, a little bit of degreaser. After that's done, I, I soak them in WD-40. After that's done, I use rim oil on them. That's me. That's my schmoe around getting my black powder cleaned up. But nitrobenzoic acid is a derivative of benzoic acid. Nitric benzoic acid is a derivative of benzoic acid. The two have commercial applications and have commercial importance. And they're ten times more acidic than their parent benzoic acid. I'm asking uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it since, you know, we get in these little groups and people jump up and down and swear that uh, 
triple sevens cleaner. I don't think I want that three nitric acid in my uh, in my barrel. That three nitric acid in my barrel. That's me. Now, you choose. I'll let you be responsible. I choose. Therefore, hey, that's on me. But I, I do believe I'm going to go back to the Pyrodex RS for my rifles and leave the triple seven pellets alone. Or maybe use them for fire starting. I don't, I don't know. Three nitrobenzoic acid. Ten times stronger than the benzate and the sulfur. But you choose, therefore you are responsible. This is Taurus High Point. I'm out of here on this one. Be my last run on uh, Pyrodex triple seven, which is better and which isn't. They're the same. They're both stronger than black powder. They both do the same job. But if at the end of the service day, I gotta spend time cleaning mine and you gotta spend time cleaning yours, is one actually better than the other? Black powder is in that mess too. It's gotta be cleaned up after it's used or else it'll rust the barrel. Do I think a triple seven would do it worse? Nitrobenzoic acid, look it up. You choose, therefore you're responsible. I'm Taurus High Point signing off.